In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the TDC odontogram control in a WPF browser application. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a brand new WPF browser application and we're simply going to use the default page that is created for us. And to that page, we're going to add an odontogram by opening up the toolbox, navigating to the odontogram control itself, and just dragging and dropping it onto the page. Now at this point, uh, there's nothing particularly interesting about the odontogram uh, because there are no teeth uh, visible. But I'm just going to go ahead and build and uh, run the project. And now you can see that it renders inside of Internet Explorer. And we have some, some resizing happening, but other than that, there's nothing really to look at. So let's go ahead and switch back to debug view and I'm going to go into the code behind file of our page and right inside of the uh, page constructor I'm going to add some uh, initialization logic for our donogram. So the first thing we have to do is we have to initialize our uh, image library and we do that um, by simply calling a static property that is part of a static class called tooth imaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, my image library is located in a folder called imagelib uh, right off the uh, C drive. Uh, now, depending on where you have placed your image library, that is uh, what you're going to set the image library path to. Now, the next line of code, um, what we're going to do is we're going to initialize the uh, odontogram control itself. And that is done by calling the initialize dentition method. Now this uh, method takes a few arguments here, but we're just going to uh, use a, a couple of them that we need to get started. So the first one is the notation system type, and for this demonstration we're going to use universal. And the next argument we have to uh, provide here is a patient date of birth. Now we do this uh, because the odontogram uh, can dynamically choose the dentition based on the age of the patient. For this demonstration, we will give our patient a, patient a date of birth of January 1st, 1975. Now we're going to go ahead and skip the tooth visual types, uh, UI interaction, selection mode because we're going to use their default, but I'm going to uh, use a named argument here, uh, show base teeth, and I'm going to set that to true. Okay, with all that in place now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run the application again. And this time now you'll see inside of the browser that we have the full rendering of all 32 teeth. And you can see that our notation system is clearly defined here above each tooth. Uh, we have 1 through 32. You'll also notice that there's some basic mouse interaction happening now. We have highlighting as our mouse uh, passes over each tooth. And we can select teeth by simply clicking them and deselect by clicking again. And once again, I'll demonstrate the uh, resizing abilities of this control. And I'll close Internet Explorer. And there you have it. That uh, is a basic quick demonstration of how to get up and running with the odontogram and displaying a base set of teeth.